director of the JK Women Science Conference 2024, uh, Professor Jyoti Vatra, Professor Sarita Manhas, Dr. Sheetal, and our friends from the media. Greetings of the day. And on behalf of the University of Jammu, I welcome you all to this curtain raiser press conference of the JK Women Science Congress 2024 being organized by the University of Jammu from the 11th to the 13th of February 2024. And uh, I would now request esteemed Vice Chancellor Professor Mesh Rai to please address the press. Before uh, I address, I request uh, Professor Jyoti Vakulu and Professor Anju Shwasta. So first, uh, Jyoti, can you brief me please about the program? Good, good morning, uh, all of you. Uh, this uh, endeavor has been taken <coughs> by sorry. This endeavor has been taken by University of Jammu as uh, uh, extension to our duties for the societal benefit. And women, they are fifty percent of the population, but their representation in science, technology, engineering, mathematics is not at par. It's not the case in India. It's world over. You can see that if you count Nobel Prizes, if you count Batnagar Awards, the awards that have been given to women, they are minimal. I think the ratio is maybe 20 is to 1. Uh, I'm just saying offhand, it may not be factual. So there is a need because uh, we know that under unless you give women equal representation anywhere, not only in STEM, anywhere, if you don't give them equal representation, the society is going to suffer. It's not that if you put 50% of the uh, population at disadvantage and this at disadvantage is societal, structural and uh, the academic institutions, uh, the other uh, parts of the administration, they are part of the society. So everybody has to come forward and to help uh, women to come forward so that we have better generation of uh, women and then women in science in particular. So this is an effort by uh, University of Jammu. There are so many initiatives that university has taken because we understand we don't have only academic responsibilities, we have societal responsibilities as well. So this is a uh, one more additional step in that direction. Yes, perhaps. So good morning to everyone. Uh, so as Professor Jyoti also mentioned, uh, this basically is a conference which is organized by University of Jammu in collaboration with the Jammu and Kashmir Science Technology and Innovation Council. And uh, in this particular thing, we are trying to understand, uh, we are trying to look into the progress of the scientific careers, inequalities and discrimination uh, um, to, that continue to thwart our potentials of the women. Uh, and that is what we want to see. We want to see that they do, they do not remain uh, at the ground level, but they also reach to the top and to, and we want to provide them a uh, a platform where we where they can discuss their problems as well as uh, they can also talk about the scientific temper which they have built and they can be role models. For example, there will be a uh, interaction between our well-known well scientists and who have reached on the top huh? um, and among them and our young researchers so that they have an understanding that these women are the role models and we can also reach, uh, we can break the glass ceiling which is there. So this is very important and this is an effort which is done by Jammu University. And uh, this is also an effort which is also done by the Indian uh, Science Congress which happens every year. And there is a regular feature of Women's Science Congress and now it is being done by the Jammu and Kashmir Science Technology and Innovation Council. And Jammu University is taking this forward, and especially on the day of the International uh, Day for Women and Girls in Science, uh, we are inaugurating this particular function, and uh, so that we provide them a platform uh, for uh, as a congress, as a training uh, program, uh, so that we can, we must, and we can promote the girls and women in science. So that is the basic idea behind this. Can I add something? Is your permission, sir? Sure. Uh, for the first time, this Congress is being held in a transdisciplinary mode. And that is uh, the vision of our Honorable Vice Chancellor. Normally, what would happen, uh, we would uh, ghettoize these uh, sciences like the way we have ghettoized the society in different compartments. But this time, all the sciences, they will be uh, all the top and all the science students, researchers, faculty, they will come under one roof share the platform, not only the invited speakers, 
even the students and the young faculty are being given chance to collectively uh, present their work and share the stage with the most uh, eminent speakers and most eminent scientists, women scientists in particular in India. So that is an added advantage in this particular, uh, like added thought that we have put in this particular uh, science firm. Thank you. So we are breaking the silos in in, yes. in nutshell. Sarika would like to say. Uh, as we all know that the University of Jammu promotes, uh, you know, the scientific temper among its youth through research and academic uh, activities they've been undertaking for so many years. Uh, this, as Ma'am has already shared, that this is for the first time that uh, a women's science conflict <clears throat> exclusively is being held at the University of Jammu in collaboration with the Science and Technology uh, Council of JK Government. Uh, the young scientists, the young researchers, especially the women scientists, are being getting this opportunity to showcase their scientific work and have interaction with the prominent women scientists uh, from all over India. So we will we'll be, you know, happy to host uh, wonderful women scientists who have already made a mark for themselves in the scientific field from all over India. So our young researchers will have that opportunity of showcasing their work in front of these women scientists and also showcase and learn from them many other aspects of science which otherwise uh, they I think many of them would not have an opportunity. So it is a great opportunity for our young researchers, our young scholars and students, especially the women who have a very very significant role to play in the coming you know uh, scientific scenario not only in the Indian context. At the outset. I express my sincere thanks to the media persons who used to support Jammu University always. And this time also, in the early morning, I would say for media people, 11.30 is the early morning. But you have to come for this press conference at a very short notice. So on behalf of the Jammu University, I express my sincere thanks once again to all of you. And also I appreciate the organizing committee who is organizing this Women Science Congress on the day of International Day for Women and Girls in Science. And uh, the objective of this has been categorically explained by Professor Anju Bashin, Professor Jyoti and others. I would say that Yatra Nari Pujayante Ramante Tatra Devata Hamara Wo Desha Hai Jahan Nari Ko Is Roop Se Dekha Jata Hai Or I would differ with that That discrimination I would not say discrimination But no doubt Indian Science Congress As well as The Indian Academy of Sciences Bangalore a few years back decided to promote the women scientists in India. Whether the fellowship for that is concerned, whether the INSA, Indian National Science Academy Fellowship, National Academy of Sciences, NASI Fellowship, or NAS Fellowship, or Indian Academy of Sciences Fellowship. So a special emphasis is being given in India to promote the women scientist. The objective that has been categorically specified also the, is that to dissolve the boundaries of the subjects. The Department of Geology is organizing, or uh, biotechnology is organizing, or botany, or biochemistry, or physical sciences, chemical sciences. This time we have dissolved that boundaries so that a platform would be provided to the young researchers, girls, to share their ideas and to see that what is going on in other departments, how they can collaborate with each other. Not only that, dissolving the boundaries of the subjects, we are also trying to dissolve the boundaries of the institutions. So one institution can collaborate with another institution. So the idea of having this science congress is 
to provide the platform to the young researchers so that they can collaborate with the other institutions they can collaborate with the other department and this is the objective of having this women science congress and also i appreciate and express my sincere thank to science and technology jammu and kashmir for extending all support to the university of jammu to organize such a congress so if you have any questions particularly you are most welcome Umesh Rai, uh, I would really like to know because the literal meaning of the word Congress uh, describes a meeting and uh, a formal meeting in which discussions and questions are asked. So, what will be the proper uh, planning and uh, how it will continue for February 11th to February 13th? I would really like you to explain about it. Sure, but uh, I think that can be better. explained by the organizing committee so uh, i request jyoti to uh, answer your question thank you sir uh, so uh, we are uh, quite conscious of the fact that we the the, the the congress will be fruitful if they are as you pointed out if there are exchange of ideas so we don't have only talks we don't have only uh, flash talks as uh, professor monica said we also have a panel discussion what we are going to do in panel discussion is that we will showcase the women who have been educated in india sorry educated in jammu from the issues of jammu and reached to the top level in the university and other places so there they will discuss they will share their official journeys as well as their personal journeys the hurdles they face so that the young um, researchers who will be in the audience they can one relate to them and ask the questions and we also look forward to other invited uh, speakers who are predominantly female that they uh, adopt these uh, young researchers who are interested in pursuing research academically so they can hold their hands and make their journey if they are interested easier in stem i ask my uh, yeah sorry before, before that uh, i don't know about the physical sciences and the chemical sciences uh sanju bhasin is from physical sciences but from uh, jyoti is from biological sciences i am also taking class in zoology in this university and if i see the data of the university of delhi of biological sciences departments and here also 80% students are girls right so uh, and then 20% students are boys so it's not that again i'm saying discrimination but percent students must get the platform to share their ideas to find out the opportunities to collaborate with other institutions what is going on there even the university of jammu i don't know how much collaborate with the uh, indian institute of integrated medicine or the central university of jammu or the uh, iit and uh, iims so so the idea is that he increase that platform share your resources if university of jammu is not having that resources that infrastructure that might be with the other institutions so if we provide the platform to the students to the faculty then they would be aware that what is going on in other institutions so the cross talk between the institutions that needs to be increased and the resources must be utilized optimally so that's the objective of this holding the uh, women science congress but uh, anju ji so even in physical sciences like sir said i mean as far as jammu university is concerned we have lot of women in that so even for example physics where women really are very few but in jammu university we have more than 50% as women students who come and masters degree however that number gets lower as we move to a higher degree and that is where we where our role is and we want to promote the we want to promote that that the women are uh, they get impressed by their seniors and they they take up the roles in in higher positions also and we want them to move to higher positions and see that i mean jammu university i would say that is one of those lucky universities where higher positions are held by 
uh, women uh, in general, not in, even in science fields, but also in other fields where, where there are many women who are in the forefront. But in most of the places, that is not the case. And this is a global phenomenon which is there. And like uh, Jyoti also said that in many of the prizes where, which are given, so the first Nobel Prize which was given was a woman, Marie Curie got it. But however, after that, it was many years later that, that there was a huge gap and huge, uh, and the same scenario happens even in uh, the prizes which are given in India, that there are very few women who reach to the top. Members of the academy, are, there are very few women. Although the effort now is being made uh, that that the women are taken as members of the academia, which are of the uh, university. And like you asked about the discussions that are going to happen, these discussions are going to happen even in our all the sessions which are there, so so that the students can interact. And like Sir said, that we need to provide them a platform, and that is where we want to provide them a platform. That what are the new areas of research? What are the new areas where they can go, uh, where they can collaborate? With people? <coughs> And that was our whole idea of doing an exercise and calling people who have reached to the top and who are women of eminence in within the country. So it's not only within the region, but it's within. Uh, most of our speakers are from outside of the region. So we wanted them to be here and discuss the uh, things which are there. So we have almost coming and who are uh, going to be presenting uh, their work and over the students will get an opportunity for them. and also uh, some ideas that what how they can collaborate with them and uh, within the region also there are there are going to be discussions which is there and not only within Jammu region but also uh, as a JNK as a whole uh, union territory we would like to promote. I wanted to add two important things that <coughs> came my mind. Number one is that we have one lecture which is from um, outside India, which has been actually, it, the idea was it will be sponsored by AMBO, Europe, European Molecular Biology Organization. Uh, the travel they would uh, give us. But then uh, since uh, the speaker uh, preferred to be online because uh, her commitments to the uh, academic uh, session that, that was going on in the university. So th there is one session which is morally supported by AMBO, a very prestigious um, organization in biology and sciences. And second is we have also invited uh, Dr. Vandana Singh who is heading the Vais Kiran, that is uh, Vais Kiran uh, branch of DST. So this is specifically as Sir was mentioning, the government of India is doing a lot of things to promote women in science. So she will be delivering talks on what are the avenues, what are the opportunities that are available to women. So I would request uh, media people kindly uh, say this loud and clear to other people. This conference, this conference is also open to uh, citizens. If somebody wants to know what are the opportunities, what government of India is doing for women in science, there are opportunities that should be taken for this. Okay. So my last uh, question. Uh, Mr. Sir, I would really like to ask, before this initiative, we have seen that you have built a bridge with College on Wheels all across the country. Now, is this the second initiative to, be, uh, to build another bridge all across the country? Because uh, all I am seeing here is that you have invited CSIR IICB from Kolkata. Right. So, uh, this conference is going to be inaugurated. The chief guest is our Honorable Lepner Governor Sahib, who himself has done M.Tech in Civil Engineering from Banaras University. And the guest of honor is Professor Vibha Tandan, is a faculty in Jawaharlal Nehru University and currently she is the director of Indian Institute of Chemical Biology. And Viva is from Chemical Sciences. So, uh, Physical Sciences, Professor Anju Bhashin, Biological Sciences, Professor Jyoti, Chemical Sciences, uh, Professor Viva Tandan. So, as uh, Professor Bhashin and Professor uh, Jyoti Vakulu said that this conference is not only for one discipline. This conference is aimed to dissolve the boundaries of the subjects. So that one can work in a holistic manner. The problem can be addressed in totality, not that with one particular objective. The problem should be addressed in totality. And this would be possible only 
when we dissolve the boundaries of the subject number one and dissolve the boundaries of the institutions number two and, and uh, what you said that the jammu university is trying hard to make the visibility of the university not only nationally but internationally also and in this connection i would say that we are going to hold another conference in the month of march uh 12 13 and 14th march which is again to make the visibility of the university not only nationally but internationally also and in this connection i would say that we are going to hold another conference in the month of march uh 12 13 and 14th march which is again going to be inaugurated by our honorable chancellor and that there a few ambassadors are going to come for panel discussions three have already given the consents so to take our university make this visibility of the university internationally so internationalization of higher education in jnk so not only to the national level internationally also we are trying hard to record our presence thank you